So my opponent stated that citizens and criminals will go unarmed. And so if that happens and there's going to be no reason to have guns in the first place. She also talks about the, uh, the industry going under because no one's going to be buying guns and <clears throat> the black market is going to go, is going to increase for people illegally selling guns, but the, the tax money that goes to keep people that are in prison for using guns to <coughs> kill people. And just to reiterate that guns were used in 11,422 homicides, in two, and that's just in 2010. So to compare the numbers between how many people own a gun and how many people are in prison for killing someone, and are in, going to be in prison for the rest of their lives because they, they used a gun to kill someone. So... Um, By, in, by, in, by implementing the buyback program, it's a good way to draw attention to the people who, who uh, already own a gun. And in Australia, there's 30 gun homicides in 2010, which amounted to 0.13 gun deaths for each 100,000 people. So, and that's caused by a pro-gun conservative named John Howard who pushed through an ambitious gun control program that banned all handgun weapons and instituted strict licensing rules involving background checks and waiting period per, for purchases. So, if you go back to um, the Second Amendment, which my partner also touched base on, it's It poses that in a well-regulated militia, citizens use their own weapons and as such and as such, had a right to keep them and then bear them if called upon to defend their state or nation. And the, the Brady Center, on the other hand, argues that the Second Amendment of the U.S. Constitution does not guarantee individuals unrestricted rights to own and carry guns. Further, they argue that when more people have guns, deaths and injuries from guns increase. So by implementing the buyback program, it's hopefully going to decrease the amount of homicides used by handguns and prevent the amount of money to keep people in prison that are, on, that are going to be in there forever.